early morning of Tuesday, December 10th, 2019, Harbour Air's e-plane took to the Canadian skies, making history as the world's first commercial electric flight. The 16-kilometer flight lasted for about 10 minutes, soaring above the Fraser River in Richmond, British Columbia. Short, you might say. However, think about all the milestones aviation has achieved since the Wright brothers first took flight. Well, that flight only lasted 12 seconds long. It eventually came to a stop at the Harbour Air Seaplane Terminal, where the living legend was welcomed by a large crowd of spectators. This historic flight signified the start of the third era in aviation, the Electric Age. The aircraft that made this successful feat was a DHC-2 de Havilland Beaver, retrofitted with an electric propulsion system, the Magni 500, which is designed by Magnix. The joint cooperation between these companies has marked a major milestone towards achieving sustainable flight. Envied for their rich history, safety record and workload capability, the E-plane is built upon an all-metal de Havilland aircraft, the DHC-2 Beaver. This aircraft was introduced by the de Havilland Aircraft of Canada in 1947 as a stall design. Stall, meaning short takeoff and landing, of which many of them were suited for the harsh environmental conditions of Canada. The company went on to produce approximately 1,600 Beaver aircraft before seizing production in 1967. Viking Air went on to acquire its design rights and type certificates in 1983 and currently offers spares and support services to the Beaver aircraft globally. 10 meters long, 3.18 meters high, and a wingspan of 14.67 meters. The Beaver isn't exactly the largest in the Harbour Air family compared to its brothers and sisters. It faces an altitude ceiling of 3,000 meters above sea level and has a top speed of 180 kilometers per hour. Not entirely the fastest either. Being retrofitted with an electric propulsion system, however, turns it into an e-plane. A true compensation when it comes to horsepower, which is delivered by the Magni 500. The Magni 500, which was unveiled at the Paris Air Show of June of 2019, is a 750 horsepower high density electric propulsion system designed by Magnix. It's known to be the world's most powerful electric aircraft motor, to have turned a propeller at full power. Now, when it comes to sustainability and reliability, the Magni 500 does its best to provide that. For a start, this power plant has a motor that can provide you with the same levels of torque and power, no matter the altitude, as it's not affected by air density. It has been designed with an integrated liquid cooling system, which allows for full performance of the engine, despite the environmental conditions. Indeed, advanced thermal performance at its best the Magni 500 is also known for delivering full torque of up to 2,800 newton meters, even at low RPM. Its motor is designed to provide the required torque and power, turning at only 1,900 revolutions per minute, the same speed as the propeller. This direct drive between the two eliminates the need of a reduction gearbox. The electric motor is almost instant torque, stated Greg McDougall, the CEO of Harbor Air and pilot of the e-plane's flight. Used either in a single motor application or as part of a multi-motor aircraft, the Magni 500 weighs about 135 kilograms. This propulsion system is ideal for middle-mile aircraft, such as the Cessna Caravan, the single in Twin Otter, and of course, the de Havilland Beaver seaplane. Just the right picks for Harbor Air. Harbor Air is North America's largest seaplane airline, composed of a fleet of more than 40 aircraft. It operates up to 300 daily flights, transporting about 500,000 passengers each year. It has 12 scheduled destinations, mostly flying within British Columbia and Vancouver Island. The current capabilities of the e-plane testbed give it a range of about 160 kilometers, which is enough for operating a majority of these flights that take between 15 and 25 minutes. To begin with, the airline is expecting to deploy its electric aircraft and passenger flights of about 30 minutes with 30 minutes of power reserve. For a 30-minute flight, the charging time takes between 20 to 30 minutes and that's the greatest challenge to the e-plane's success. 
battery technology is advancing rapidly, however. The airline is currently undergoing a certification and approval campaign with the FAA and Transport Canada for both the propulsion system and the retrofitting of aircraft. Harbour Air expects to see Magnix convert the rest of its fleet within two years, as of 2020. Battery technology is expected to improve by 50% within that period, and that's without any breakthrough technology. They are currently working with Magnix and other companies, developing traditional lithium-ion batteries as well as new types such as solid-state and lithium-oxygen batteries. It's realistic to say that electric flight is still far from perfect, as fuel currently remains 40 to 50 times more power dense than batteries. Weight, power and charging cycles are critical factors that can determine this industry's success, yet they prove to be some of the greatest hurdles that it is currently facing. The ongoing improvements in battery technology, however, will cause electric flight to not only benefit the aviation industry, but the world as a whole. The e-plane has proved this by reducing an aircraft's operating costs per hour by up to 70%. With it, fossil fuels aren't burnt anymore, leading to zero emissions. No wrenching engine noise and no more exhaust fumes. Just a whirring sound like a powerful fan that says, I am here to fuel the e-plane revolution. <laughs>